Bonjour mes étudiants six standard. Welcome you all for this new session, lesson 5 dans la classe. So for the midterm you have finished this uh, French passage from this lesson and vocabulary from this lesson. So what is next? So we are going to learn a new verb, uh, very good verb that is the verb is a war and in today's class we are going to complete three exercise that is exercise number one that is based on a war verb and uh, a small reading practice for you that is exercise number two and exercise number three difference between a war and ath okay difference that is already we have learnt ath verb and we have written it in your quarterly and a war and ath difference when to use and when to use a war and ath so these three things we are going to see exercise number four is also based on a war but we are not going to see today we will see it in some other day okay okay let's start please go to page number can anyone help me yes page number 59 fine are you there page number 59 can you see this verb called a war yeah so I'll tell you what is the use of the verb and when to use it and how to use it okay so this verb so this verb is called a war the meaning is to have and it's a irregular verb okay so the meaning is to have so what we are going to see today is I have you have he has she has we have you have they have so, so these are the things we are going to see right so hope you understood this now we are going to see the same thing in French J J tu as tu as please repeat first I will tell you il a il a l a l a nous avons Nous avons, vous avez, vous avez, ils ont, ils ont, elles ont, elles ont. So this is the pronunciation. So now, so now I am going to teach you the meaning. A war verb. A war verb is a verb that is used to say the things which you have. We can say it is a temporary thing, okay? I have a pen. So there is a two examples given. A war has many uses. It means to have. It also used to tell the age. So two uses. One is to tell about the things which you have and tell your age, okay? So I'll give you a small technique use this for temporary purpose imagine you have a pen or a laptop these things keep on changing as the technology improves these things keep on changing so whatever stays temporary you can use it as a war and whichever stays permanent use ath verb okay that is the difference between ath and a war okay now i'll give you the example that will make you clear j the stilo imagine today i have two pens and tomorrow i buy one or two Imagine I have three pens tomorrow. So that keeps changing. Likewise, your age, it also changed, right? So this year you are 10, next year you will be 11 and upcoming years it will go on, right? So these numbers will keep changing. So use a war verb when you have these two things. One is things, second one is age. First one, here's the example. J the stilo. The meaning is I have two pens. Okay, so whatever the things object which you have you should use a war verb to say i have two pen two pencil one scale one eraser one bag you can say all these things using a war verb so how to say is j means i have so already subject is there and verb is there only you have to name your bag or pen or whatever it is that you can take it from your vocabulary section and you can add it so subject verb and object so this is the quantity so if there is quantity you have to place it before the object that is before the noun okay 
J dos kilo. I have two pence. J dis on. I have ten years old. I am ten years old. But there will be a small question for you, sir. In the first sentence, it is given as I have two pence. But in the second ten sentence, it is I am ten years old. Yes. See, any language should not be literally translated. If I literally translate, see how it is looking. I have ten years. Can I say I have ten years? You cannot say that you have ten years as age. But in English, the complete sentence is I am ten years. So that is why there is a difference. So don't uh, think this A I has have and this A I is am. Both the meaning is have only. So if I write I have ten years old, that will be grammatically wrong in English. So that's why they have written I am ten years. Okay. So now uh, coming back to the tabular column, let's revise once more and let cl gets clarified and let go for the exercise number one. J. Repeat J. Chua. Ila. Al a. Nous avons. Vous avez. Ils ont. Elles ont. J'ai. Tu as. Il a. Elle a. Nous avons. Vous avez. Ils ont. Elles ont. So with this, uh, we are completing the revision of avoir. So I repeat, the meaning of avoir is to have. This avoir verb is a irregular verb. Okay, irregular is nothing but the spelling keeps on changing from the top to the bottom. Here it is a, here it is a v o n s. So the difference in spelling that means irregular verb. Okay, nothing else. So avoir, we have finished the revision. In this verb, there is a small note. J becomes J apostrophe because before vowel of and silent H. For example, this is a A here, A I. There is a vowel, so that's why we have taken that J E. Okay, we have taken that J E and uh, we have given a apostrophe. Okay, so this is a small note. Just uh, keep a note of it. Now I think we are clear. Now let's see exercise number one. So please take page number sixty. See uh, before so let's uh, start this. See on the right hand side, all the objects will be given. Okay, so object and uh, one is year. How many years old? Okay, so estilo is pen. De estilo means some pens. And leave is a book. These are ten years old. They carry some notebooks. Yun what your a car, a balloon, a ball, in bicycle, a bicycle. So left hand side is all the subject and right hand side is all the object. So the object is all based on things. Okay. So now we are going to drop the over verb conjugation. J and stilo. So J and stilo. Q A. So do you remember? J spelling is A I. Q A is A S. Q A D stilo. And this one is very simple. Il A and stilo. So Il A and stilo. Who can try this? L A D Z O. Now you try this. No, who, il, l. Go to the previous page. See the tabular column. For no, what is given? No, zavo. Take this and drop it here. No, zavo. Okay. Now next one is. Who, zave. Who, zave. A v e z. Drop that here in six. Who, zave. Seventh one is il 
O Ilzo and Balom. ILS and ELLES. Both the conjugation is O and T. So Ilzo and Balom. Alzo in B C clip. Now let's uh, read this once. J and stilo. Q A the stilo. Il a un livre. Elle a dix ans. Nous avons des cahiers. Vous avez une voiture. Ils ont un ballon. Elles ont une bicyclette. So we have completed exercise number one. Okay. So just we are if in case if you don't know, see the tabular column and write the exercise like that you can finish now I am going to give you a reading practice that is difference between ath conjugation and over conjugation lycée ces phrases ok read this sentence ils ont indien so this is s-o-n-t indien so indien is a nationality so this nationality is a permanent thing it will not change ok so I am indian I cannot say I am a frenchman after uh, this year ok I am a born Indian. So, till the end, I am an Indian. So, ils ont Indian. So, this case, adverb is used. Ils ont un ballon. So, if you see this, the pronunciation will be little similar. Ils ont Indian. Ils ont un ballon. But the difference is, this is an object. Okay. Ils ont un ballon. Ils ont intelligent. So, intelligent is the adjective. Okay. So, adverb verb, I am using for using nationality and adjective. But, over verb, I am using for a object and, a, and age. Okay. Elles ont deux ans. So, that is the difference, but the pronunciation will be little similar. Only from the meaning we can find which is at and which is over. So, ils ont un dien, please repeat, ils ont un dien, ils ont un ballon, ils ont intelligent, elles ont deux ans. Since there is no yes here, I cannot say ils ont un ballon, I cannot read like that because French, the pronunciation will be similar, but the meaning will change. So, with the object only, we can find either it is Ather or over, okay. Now let's go to exercise number three. So this exercise is ekute, so don't confuse, need not do this, omit it. So exercise number three, with this exercise we can have a clear idea which one is ather and which one is over. So if you see in the left hand side, what is there? First one you take this as a Example, complete avec le verbe avoir ou être. They are now giving us exercise based on avoir and at. Now we should be very clear with our ideas. Okay. So, je dash indien. So, indien is the nationality. So, je suis indien. So, at the verb we have seen in the previous lesson, exceeding uh, exceeding num in lesson number 3. Je suis indien. Je venton. So, right side, left side fully it is at right side fully it is a verb. Why? Because, see, left side is it is nationality, profession, okay, and uh, this is a noun, I will tell you, and this is another noun, and this is again a profession, nationality, nationality, and adjective. So, if you have a pencil, write this, nationality, profession adjective these three things will take adverb okay nationality profession and adject adjective these three things adverb and uh, age and objects things okay that will be a verb now let's continue je suis indien j'ai 20 ans Vous êtes professeur, ETES, okay. Vous êtes professeur, 
wo dash and leave wo zave and leave a v e z just now we learnt about right so first one is e t e s and this one is a v e z and this is a sir this is a demonstrative uh, word when you get the c e or c apostrophe always it is adverb just uh, add this saison saison des garçons this is s o n t r ils ont un ballon this year it is o n t ils ont un ballon it is o n t ils ont un ballon c'est une fleur c apostrophe e s t c'est une fleur l dash une fleur l a une fleur Tu es étudiant. That is E S. Tu es E S. Tu es étudiant. Tu as des cahiers. Tu as des cahiers. The year it is A S. You can write on your own also, but I am just giving the answers to avoid confusion. Left hand side it is at verb, and right hand side all the dashes are our verb. It's very simple. Okay, so to drive your attention i am just dictating if not i could show it i'll show these answers when i give you the answer key so as of now you can take it nous sommes français s o m m e s nous sommes français nous avons des livres a v o n s a v o n s year and s o m m e s year il e anglais il a kalash here it is est and here it is a il e anglais il a kalash elle son petit s o n t r elle son de livre O N T. Here it is S O N T and here it is O N T. Okay, so you try on your own. If you don't know, please try it on your own. Again, I say here it is adverb verb and this right side everything it is a verb verb. And in today's class we have seen a verb verb. So I want you to write this in your English class. I mean, uh, I mean French class work. write this tabular column in your french class work that will help you to learn our verb and uh, regarding this lesson write the vocabulary in your french class work and uh, this one french passage and english passage in your french class work and this exercise and this exercise we will see in the next class so need not write this as of now and exercise number 1 and exercise number 3 these two exercises you must write in your french class work okay so with this we are completing today's session in next class we will see exercise number 4 5 and 6 okay so we can finish it in two classes So exercise number four, five, and six we will see in the upcoming class. So with this, today's session is over. In today's session, we have seen what verb a war, and uh, exercise number one and three will be your online test. Please do not forget that. Revise accordingly. Fine. So thank you all. Have a nice day. Merci mes étudiants. Bonne journée.